Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka The Rolling Nick's Games, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to install the Auto Switch mod in Minecraft 1.7.2. Now, this is a Forge mod, and you have to have Forge installed to do it, so let's go ahead and install Forge really, really quick. First off, you want to go ahead and download the Forge launcher by going to files.minecraftforge.net, go to latest right here, 1.7.2, scroll all the way over to installer, click that, and then you'll go to add fly. We're going to have to wait five seconds. If it doesn't show up, if that five second doesn't show up, refresh the page, and if that still doesn't work, go to the description I've got two videos telling you how to enable cookies on Mozilla Firefox and on Google Chrome watch whichever ones for your browsers follow those instructions and then try to come back it should work at that point nevertheless when you skip out it'll automatically start your download you're probably gonna have to click keep and then you'll have forge downloaded go ahead and close out of forge and we can minus this right here now leave any other links you've opened up by the way you can go to the first thing in the description for forge the second link for the bonsai API and then the third link for the actual auto switcher mod all three of these things have to be installed. So first off, you want to right click on this file and open with Java TMSE platform binary. Once you've got that, go ahead and click OK. It's going to go through all that. Successfully install client profile for version yada 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 of Forge. Okay. Click OK. After that, you can delete this as we don't need it anymore. And now we need to go back to this. Now, this is the Bonsai API or the Bumsen API. So go ahead and click download right here. It'll move down. And then click download the Bonsai API. Click that. It'll down, take it to AdFly. And then you got to wait five seconds again. Same thing applies as before. You know, if it's not working, use the links in the description to, uh, to work that out. Click skip add, auto downloads, click keep. And then we can go back to the desktop where we can find that. Also, it might be in the downloads folder, and this goes for Forge as well. But for me, it is in the desktop. After that, we need to hit Windows key R. It'll open up this run. We need to type percent app data percent click enter and it will take you to this you want to then go into dot minecraft and then find the mods folder once you found the mods folder simply click this and drag it we're not done yet though one more thing to install the actual auto switchers mod now that you've got both the mods that you have to have installed to install it you want to go back to here all these links are in the description you don't have to worry about remembering them just go one will say forge one will say api one will say switcher mod download all three and just follow the order it's one two three i downloaded ford first then the API, then the switcher mod. They're in order in the description just to help you guys out. But uh, nevertheless, after that, you want to go down, go to auto switch here, download auto switch, click that. It will then take you back to AdFly. Yet again, we have to wait five more seconds because, I mean, these guys do have to get paid, but AdFly is a little bit of annoying, but this is the only way you can really get them paid, so that's fine. Skip ad, and it downloads again. Click keep. And now we can go back, find auto switcher in the same place that we wanted to, we put the bonsai API, Windows key R, percent app data percent in the mods folder in dot Minecraft right here. We can simply put the auto switcher mod. Now we need to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. I'll meet you guys there. Once you're in the Minecraft launcher, we need to pick the right version of Minecraft for Forge, right? We need to pick the Forge version. So go to profile right here and then click edit profile. After that, you want to go to use latest version. That's not what we want to do. We want to scroll down until we see at the very bottom 1.7.2 Forge installation. And we want to go to the one that is actually newer and that's going to be 0.1.11 right here. You won't have to. You'll just have this one right here. So click it, save profile. Play. It will now launch Forge for you guys and uh, launch Minecraft which for, with Forge with these mods installed. So let's go ahead and uh, get that up and running here. Mojang. And if we go into mods, we will see we have Minecraft Forge, the Bonsai API, and, and if we scroll down, the Switcher mod. So there's that, and uh, that works perfectly. We go in here, go into this, and I'll show you exactly how the switcher mod works, just in case you don't know already. So if we go over here, we see this, right, I'm holding bread, but if I start doing that, it immediately switches to my pickaxe. Same thing for that. I can go that, and then, yeah. So that's how that works. It's really, really helpful. It can really speed up things, and I really like it myself. Uh, it can really help on laptops as well. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. I'm Nix Games, and I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out on the left is how to install too many items in Minecraft 1.7.9. So if you guys want to install too many items in Minecraft, go check out that video to tell you exactly how you can do that. And on the right is my Minecraft Let's Play series, one of them. That one is in Minecraft Alpha. It's Classic Craft Episode 18. In that video, we build a mine. We have some fun. It's a great video. Go check it out. I think you'll enjoy it. If you enjoy watching Minecraft Let's Plays, also check out my daily vlogs of Bomb Server Screen to see what I do every single day of my life. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.
Peace.